Hey y'all, how's it going? I'm trading the ES features on a 2000 tick chart with a 21 EMA. So I've got my overnight highs up here, overnight lows down here. Now, notice here how we have this push up. At first it would be like uh, this right here. So you see we have this upturn here and then you see the break. First attempt at a new high, second attempt at a new high, and then it kind of reversed a little bit. So price action levels happen, you know, one level at a time. Price action levels gets get bigger as more time goes on. And so eventually, even though that uptrend has a break and a couple legs at a new high, eventually it's just one leg up here. And so then you have this uptrend here, break, first attempt at a new high, and then you can possibly get a second attempt over here. But um, it did start getting really, at first I had this range down here actually. So it started congesting right here. Clearly you got very congestive. You don't want to enter long into that. You do have this magnet down because even though you have a, you know a possibility at making a second attempt at a new high, you have this possible measured move in play. You also have this range in play, and the range act as, acts as a magnet. So you don't want to just enter on something you know like that. It's just choppy. You really want more confirmation. But um, we break out, we fade back in, we break out again, we fade back in. Notice how there's those two pushes out. They're clearly connected to each other. There's no way you can get in on that. It just plummets straight down and there's no room. Um, but then I did extend this range after we got another breakout here to here, to this high right here. So we're going sideways. And now this trade I was considering because it is a lower high, except the, the problem is you do have this measured move in play. The EMA is pointed straight up. At this point, it's looking like a successful breakout of the overnight high. So you really want to be careful going short like that. Um, but we do keep going sideways here and we get another breakout. So at this point, I have this range from that wick right there and then off these highs. So we have this range, we break out again and then we rush below the EMA and then we hold below the EMA. So that's actually confirmation that the magnet being the overnight high, being this overnight range is actually winning out. And so just go for one to one, get out at these lows. You don't want to push it, you know, really far down. You don't know it's going to be a super successful fade. Um, once again, it did just get below the EMA. So you'd want to be careful. You just want to get out at the nearest resistance. So that's just one to one there. Now, more price action formed. We eventually got this bigger downtrend here. At first it was like uh, this right here, but then we got this break. We push lower here and then notice here we have a big picture failed second entry. So not counting by the tick, just counting by the you know, the bigger structures. We have first entry long, second entry long failure. Now at that time, we also had this downtrend forming. And so this was also the third bounce confirmation of this downtrend here. So we're in this downtrend, third bounce, big picture failed second entry. We're expecting to fade this range, EMA is down. We're holding below the EMA and then also these longs here got tick trapped. Notice it ticked higher, immediately rushed below. So that's why I like that trade right there. And it's just to complete this measured move. Some Someone was asking about uh, it being like shorting into the low of this move. And yeah, it really is shorting into the low of that move. But you know, the context overrules the setup here. We're fading a major magnet here, which is the overnight high. So, and also the, you know, the measured move in play continuing this trend right here. This is a really good looking trade. And so we push down, notice as soon as it reaches that measured move is when it has that correction there. Um, you know, the downtrend holds for a fourth time. We start going into this range right here. We start getting congestive again. Congestive again. We get a breakout of these lows. It's, it's not off of anything at that point. It is a breakout, yes, but once again, you have this downtrend in play right here and you'd actually extend it, you know, extend it off there, right, right there. And then we have this downtrend. It's barely a break in a new low. That's not enough to go long yet. You know, this downtrend hasn't really played out. There's, you know, you would really need more confirmation than that. It's right into the EMA. It has not been chopping through the EMA. When price has been chopping straight through the EMA and it's been flat, then I don't mind entering into it, but it's been straight down and it has not been chopping through the EMA. It actually resisted the EMA right there. So you don't want to enter onto that, but um, we do push higher here. We start getting congestive. Um, you can see this as like a first entry short, second entry short failure. But once again, this this downtrend is still in play. It is getting sideways. You just want something a little bit better setting up than that. It's not a very good reversal pattern setup. But we push higher here. We start going into this uptrend. I mean, sometimes it's hard to scale this thing to where it's comfortable to see. We start going into this uptrend. 
here we don't reach the key entry point. It's just a first entry. You don't want to enter on that. You push up here. We get a tiny, tiny overshoot. It immediately leads to a break. That's not really an overshoot. I mean, it, it technically is it you know closed out, but that's really just a bounce. And then we over and then we uh, closed out here. Push below the EMA. You don't want to enter on that. We just push below the EMA, so you'd want it to reconfirm above the EMA, which does not happen. Um, we don't get any tick on top of on top of the EMA here, we just kind of go straight higher here. Then we immediately get congestive again. Once we get to, uh, you know, once we push higher here, we start going congestive. We break out, we get this breakout pullback. We, we're in this uptrend still. The uptrend hasn't played out, so you don't want to go short yet. Um, but we do have these two legs down, and then this range right here fades. I was wanting something to get like a higher low right here, you know, just to confirm, because this is not off of anything right here. All this is is a semi bullish bar that clearly rejected the EMA and then by the time you get this entry up here your stop would still have to go all the way down here and then it's there's just no way there's no room so you would have been filled but you'd have to push it outside of this high and this high which um, oh yeah I forgot to mention we I got this range right here we were clearly going sideways here this range is clearly in play it reacted off of it here as well um, so at this point what I'd be trying to look for is I'd be trying to look for a reversal back down here so like a like a failed second entry like a so like push down and then a couple legged break I'm not going to draw it out with the arrows but um, this is a good place for a reversal pattern the uptrend just had a break and a new high um, yeah that's what I'd be looking for here so I guess we'll see how the rest of the day plays out um, but I'm done for now I'm done for the day and yep thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.